Welcome back. Today is Children's Day and it's apt for us to talk about children's rights. Nigeria has been unable to deal with several issues in the protection rights of children. Um, we know that um, the Senate is moving to domesticate Child Rights Act 2003 in 13 states. What does that say? That even though Nigeria ratified and you know promised to do all the things that are supposed to be done after you put your signature to um, to what <laughs> <laughs> when these conventions hold and UN things are decided to be done all over the world Nigeria puts pen to paper and signs and times it seems to get it. home and forget that it has signed such documents so years and years after it has signed those documents we're still trying to actually domesticate those things in some states of the federation now to look at child rights with us today it's my pleasure to welcome on my left tonia uduimo who is a development consultant thank you good morning and next to her is sheye udukogbe who is the founder of cycle of class initiative circle, circle to class, class. Okay. circle Cycle, Cycle to, to class. class. Cycle to class initiative. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And uh, on this side, we have Laura Sarume, who is an initiative counselor. Good morning. Intuitive. intuitive counselor. Intuitive. Yes. My God. Counselor I think I need to change my glasses <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> my glasses are playing tricks on me this morning. Mm -hmm. Intuitive counselor. Yes. Thank you very much for coming. Good morning. Now, do we have anything to celebrate or should i say do children have anything to celebrate today especially in nigeria yes they do okay um in my own perspective in my own world what i mean by intuitive counseling is because we counsel based on perception now all every individual also as what as what we call them um, both the negative and the positive threat so each child out there has a positive and a negative threat so most of the time if the positive threat dominance is the domi dominance factor that is um, affecting the child that the child is displaying it sh means that he or she has a lot to celebrate or to you know to mark today Okay, um, Tonia, in 2003, um, about 13 states domesticated the Child Rights Act. Um, what is militating against the other states domesticating this? Because it's painful for a lot of adults to see children on the streets trading, mm. seeing children roaming around during school hours. In fact, we have a Universal Basic Education yeah. um, Act, which is about 13, 14 years old. And we still see children roaming the streets, and nothing is done about it. Okay, I think I'd like to start, because I'm, I'm guessing some of our viewers may, may not understand what the Child Rights Act is and what those rights are. So every child, there was a convention that was held, Convention on the Rights, to ch of, rights of, the ch of the Child, and some of those basic rights that were promulgated during that um, com convention were rights to uh, education, rights to health, to family life, to play and uh, procreation, and then protection from abuse and hurt. Okay, this is a summary of what the rights we're talking about today are. Governments, over 193 governments, signed up to domesticate this in their various governments to ensure that children have access to all of this and that children benefit from all of this. The question is, in Nigeria today, how well are we faring so many years after? There are states, like you rightly said, that have succeeded in domesticating, but the question is beyond policy beyond inclusion enforcement. how are you implementing are you ensuring that what some paper is being replicated on the ground and if yes do we have measurable outcomes that will prove that indeed what we signed up for 
we're achieving it. As you know, we've moved from the Millennium Development Goals now to the Sustainable Development Goals. We didn't do so well with the actualization of the Millennium Development Goals. And now we're moving on to, or we have successfully moved on to the Sustainable, sustainable. Develop, Development Goals that are supposed to drive us on to 2030. This is another opportunity I think we're being presented with. What are we doing with it? The key issues that I find, having worked in, in, I mean, with children and for children over the years, the first is the willpower on the part of government, political willpower to ensure that what you say you will do is being done. This willpower would show in our budgeting. How much do you set aside for education, and more importantly, basic education? For health, key services that a child requires, how much are we setting aside in our budget for this? You talked about something very critical, out of school children being gotten back into school. How many of our children who are of school age are in school? And what are we doing proactively as a government to ensure that these children get back to school. Mm. So for me, it's beyond what is on paper. This, this discussion is more about how do we ensure that what is on paper is being implemented, mm -hmm. that the willpower is there, the finances are there, and the manpower, technical ability is there, and that communities, because you can't do things outside of the community. The community members drive ownership and sustainability of whatever intervention you bring to them. So how do you ensure that you carry them along so that long after we've stopped talking about sustainable development goals, communities are actively ensuring that children have access to school, access to basic health, and that they, these things are sustainable in the long run. I think that's where this, this conversation is. Shreya, okay. you were nodding as um, she was talking. Yeah total agreement with everything that she said? Uh, partly, um, uh, what actually you know, relates to the work we do uh, with Cycle to Class um, in communities. So we focus mainly in rural communities. So if I were to ask you uh, this question, you know, what was your transport challenge this week? You know, you probably tell me, you know, stories along the line of, you know, your flight was delayed, maybe if you're traveling outside Lagos elsewhere or you experience traffic congestion for several hours, or even while transporting your kids or, or someone else you know, across the state. You know, but if I was to pose this same question to someone living in a rural community uh, to a child, the, the story would be along the line of, you know, in, 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 in the quest of trying to get uh, to school or to the farm, you know, it will be walking. So the options are limited. So in terms of even access, uh, you know, what we are trying to address is you know, you mentioned what has been happening for the past, you know, sort of 10, 12 years with some of these, you know, um, acts. But let's go back for the past 60 years, for example. My father grew up in a... In a I in beg your pardon, Shay. Just hold that thought. Yeah. We'll come back and continue with you. Uh, thank you.